and welcome to step two and on step two we will be spying on sales pages that are already working and why we'll be doing this is because uh when you're selling a new product it's important for you to try as much as possible to comply with all of facebook ad policies now i know that there are some situations where even if everything you've done still complies with facebook ad policies your ad your advertising or rather your advert might get uh, flagged for something that doesn't even make sense it's still very important that you try your best uh, to be on facebook <laughs> algorithm good side and the two places i usually go to is facebook search bar and shopify stores now i spy on these two places because whatever ads will be displayed on facebook it means it passed all the check marks it's compliance the videos are good ad critics are great the ad copy is okay the the sales copy the sales page is doing absolutely marvelous so we will get into that but before we do there are some things i didn't add in the step one because i didn't want that video to be too long it was already long i didn't want it to be too long so i'm going to be adding them right now and the first thing is let's go back to our what press dashboard okay so we want to edit this front page and take away this my blog and my blog post name i want to remove all of that all right so editing our front page it's coming up then we'll edit the theme as well if not it's just going to be a static oh sorry sorry not that's not what i'm supposed to go to i'm supposed to go to uh, dashboard yeah customize the site then all right so this will come up i want to remove this so i'll click on this pen sign here and delete site title then tagline click on it as well delete tagline then click publish so as this page is like this don't worry about it i'm going to show you how to get all of these these are all the pages we created if you remember so i'm going to show you how to get all of this out and make the page look really nice so we're done with removing that my blog and my blog site and my website we're done with removing that the next thing is to set all the pages uh, layout to elemental canva that is the only way to remove those page titles so where are our pages okay so we'll click on pages then right click edit for all the pages disclaimer everything all right so when you open the page because we haven't put in well there's no copy there's nothing on it what we want to do is go to page attributes scroll down to page attributes template right here click on it select elemental canvas then click update okay so do that for okay that's done we did that for all the pages page attributes templates elemental canvas update now let's have a little preview i'm still going to make some changes to the uh, page but this is the first step you have to change all the templates from the default template to the elemental canvas okay so this is the elemental canvas you can see there's no title page there's no footer there's no header it's blank and we want it to be blank and if you're wondering why my layout is pink is because i set my my chrome browser to be pink background please don't i didn't do any special thing i just set it to be pink so this is what we want a blank canvas nothing at all then uh, we're done with this you can close for terms of service we're done for refund policy we can close refund policy privacy policy page distributions default elemental canva update the main front page the main sales page elemental canva and then disclaimer 
got the elemental canvas sorry elemental canvas pages so just close all these pages we're done with that then what other thing did i forget oh yes i will be installing elemental school now if you remember i installed elemental the elemental uh, template uh, sorry the main elemental software then the essential add-ons for elemental now i want you to also have the pro version of the elemental because so many things the 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 very first one I gave you is so restricted. There's almost not you can almost you can do almost nothing with it. You have to start from scratch for a whole lot of things within that uh, first software or landing page builder. So you need the pro, sorry, you need the very first one, which is this one right here. Let me go to plugins and show you. You need the very first Elemental plugin before you can apply the pro. So this is it right here. Then the essential add-ons is optional, but I like. You know including it in case i want to add events calendar i usually use it for events calendars so uh that is it for this one so let me show you how to install the main elemental plugin we're going to do it the same way sorry the elemental pro we're going to do the same way go to cpanel click on power manager i hope you still remember then when you go to file manager you go to public html double click that then click double click on WP content we click on plugins then all right so we are on plugins now we want to install elemental pro so this is just the regular elemental software uh, plugin and then the add-ons for the elemental plugin now we want the pro version so that we can have access to better features better layout and all that the the template I will give you We'll need Elementor Pro so that you can make edits if you want to. So what we we'll do is click on upload. Uh, let me go to where I save this. I think it's here. All right. So this is it. Elementor Pro 2020. I'll just drag it and drop, and it will upload in a matter of seconds. It doesn't take time relatively small just about 5.5 gig and we're done so when it turns green i can then click the go back that's to show that it's completely loaded I think it's, uh, yeah okay so it's complete then we click the go back button here what we want to do is to unzip this so you click on it click on extract or you right click Select Elemental Pro. Sorry, let me start again. Select Elemental Pro. Right click and click on Extract. Then click on Extract Files and just click on Tools. Then you go up one level. Click on up one level. Then come back and click on Plugins. And as you can see, it's been installed. So we'll go back to our WordPress dashboard and refresh the page. That we can activate it as you can see it's here so we'll click on activate all right so we're done with this uh, yeah that's it for the installation because i knew i forgot to add something then the fourth thing i want you to install is the right click allow right click chrome extension now the reason why we need this is because sometimes you might visit a site and you want to swipe your ad copy or uh, right click and save the image on your page and they might have disabled uh, right clicking on their site or their sales page so we want to disable whatever it is they enabled okay so the two things I usually keep on my site for my on my Chrome extension is this screenshot extension and allow right click or rather enable right click so let's go to google chrome and type enable right click right click chrome extension type it it will come up like this i think they want to install yes the second one so scroll to the second one that actually has enable right click 
for pro. No, this is not it. This is not it. This is not it. This is not it. I, I, when I installed this, it didn't work. So I had to. Wait a minute. Where is, <laughs> where is the extension? Okay, let me click on the extensions. Enable right click. Yeah, that's the name. Enable right click. I got it right. So just look for the one that uh, has this mouse like this and just install it. Because this particular one right here, it doesn't work very well. And I think they force you to give them a rating before it can start working with the Chrome extension. So that's why I am against this one. So you can try this one. The allow right click and try it. As long as they don't force you to give them a rating before using it, that's fine. So that is all for everything that I forgot to add in the very first one. Let us go into the main video itself, which is spying on our competitors. Alright, so let me go back to this. Okay, so I did a little bit of research and the product I want to use to create this sales page is the decompression dot. It's kind of like a health product, but not uh, how do I put it now? It's, it's not a health product that promises you things like, uh, you know, fast the growth as yeah. So it's a belt that helps to re relieve your lower back from pain. Uh, it's a spine decompression belt. What happens, uh, how you use it is that you wear it as a belt, then you press the inflation button, then it will elongate and stretch it out and all that so it's really good for people who have lower back pains uh, as you can see here lumbar decompression belt so i did some research already and i got some pages that i want to show you but before that let me show you how i do my research on facebook so i go to facebook okay then i go to the search bar then i put the product name if I want to sell the decompression belt now before it arrives in Nigeria and I'm looking for how to create a sales page, this is what I will do. So I'll type the compression belt and then click search or I'll type the compression belt and add free shipping and click search. Then a lot of other offers will come up and when it does, always go to videos because the more videos it has, it means a lot of people are interested in it or that company is making so much money that they can continuously run ads. So spine reset, I think I've already opened spine reset. Let's see if I open spine reset today. This is minimal. No, oh, okay, I didn't open spine reset. So I'll open spine reset. Open link in a different tab. But I've already watched it. So just type the, the compression belt free shipping. Then the next thing I, the next keywords I add is free ship, free worldwide shipping. I put worldwide after the free because most times it's uh, drop shippers that do free worldwide shipping. So I like to spy on their stores. So you want to look for videos with over a hundred thousand views. It means that that company is spending a lot of money and they are making a lot of sales as well. So I had to really search to find this one. Okay, essential massage. At the moment I clicked on spine reset when I was doing my research, I got essential massager adverts and I just went to their page. Then I did a lot. I did a lot of research to find many more and to find this abdominal page as well so they don't have a lot of views but yeah this is still the same thing i just want to see your sales for people but it's very it's advisable that you look for a page that has over a hundred thousand views so now we found this page right here we click the see more okay so this is their ad copy this belt helps support helps people support and stabilize their spine and then what you want to do is copy the link i don't know if they did that intentionally but that link is not working it has two h in the http so i'll just go to my chrome browser copy paste and go all right so their page is still up meaning that everything on the
to help you call to action but uh, they, okay they have images that you can zoom to but then again you have to click on it for it to load then frequently brought together that's cool then the, this what what is this <laughs> wait i have to click okay so this can actually help with conversion because if you're too lazy to read you just bounce but if you really want to know more about it you click and read to the end to me i i don't know i i feel somehow about it <laughs> okay so they've got a lot of pictures for their reviews a lot of pictures for their reviews so let's see okay so this is the copy this is the image this is the copy this is the image this is the copy this is the image. Okay. okay 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 so i can i can use this then they've got q a okay so this heel back can come and completely had the spinal injury for size does it fit Silver heated me, deep, deep infrared. Okay, so these are regular, uh, frequently asked questions. So we can swipe this as well. We can swipe them. We'll just go through their copy. Although it looks, I don't know, it looks really boring to me. I can take the images and go through their copy and see what we can do. Okay, so that is it for this three pages i'm not going to shut them down i'm just going to leave it here because we'll be using it to create our sales page uh, next thing we're going to do is to look for or rather spy on our competitors on shopify so i've already typed in the compression belt shopify let's open the first three pages the major reason why i actually check out shopify is because of their high quality images most times their ad copies are crap <laughs> Sorry to say, but sometimes it's just not it. Okay, revolutionary approach to intervention and treatment of cancer. Now, this was what essential massage I had. I'm sure this is like their page has been brought down. And on at the top here, I think they said you cannot put a price to um, relief or something. So, I, I would swipe their images, I would swipe their copy. Their images, I won't swipe their copy. Um, this right here to me it looks like false advertising because you actually need a thoracic back posture corrector for this, and not something like this. This looks like for lower back, but anyway, that's like this. Mm, it's okay, I can take their images and look through their copy to see if I can something so let's look at the next website when i'm ready to create the page i'm going to take a whole lot of things when i'm ready to create the page i'm going to take a whole lot of all of this site i want to make sure that my sales page has a lot of images a lot of instructional pictures and a lot of instructional uh gifs or gifs or gif whatever they call it and then q and a's these q and a's are very important i'll make my design i hate it when sites just have everything by the right hand side and these are their testimonials no images okay so let's leave that as it is that's okay it's still fine so i'm going to close this and amazon i forgot to add amazon so i actually go to amazon for review images and sometimes for copy for the reviews so let us check these two sellers two stores two merchants whatever it is they call them but i think it's merchants right i think it's merchants so okay you see this rating here i'll screenshot and swipe it that's number one number two i would swipe this as well number three where is it? Where are the images? Okay, images. I don't think I've seen this one, this particular one of this old man on any of the pages. And then there is the video. So I would swipe the images as well. Let me go down to review. Let's see customer reviews, customer images. 
Okay, one, two, three, four. I think I've seen a couple of these on other pages, so this product really works. So I can swipe this copy, 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 I can swipe almost all of them. They are really good reviews, and then there's internet there are international reviews. So if you say your page has 1000 review ratings, you can just come over here and get like 20 images, create reviews for that, and then put about 15 more, <laughs> 15 more written uh, reviews if you want. That is if you want a lot of reviews on your page. But if you don't want a lot, you can just do 20, uh, uh, sorry, 20 reviews, picture reviews or image reviews. And if there's someone who puts the video, you can use it as well. So let's check out the second merchant. Dr. Hold two in one, two compression belt with a package. Currently unavailable. All right, let's scroll down. I'm looking to see what is the decompression belt. This is a question that none of these sales pages answered. Thank you, Dr. Ho. What is it used for? I am swiping this with so much speed. Okay, okay, okay. Clinical grade traction compression. Take action. Powerful. Two sizes for the right fit. All right then. Okay, so this is also very important. Uh, package quantity, what it comes with, you need to also add that to your copy for something like this. Mm -hmm. So there are only two images, so this is great. So you can still use this. Great for psychiatric problems. Very expensive to portrayal. Not comfortable, not good to cut. Works for me. So the reviews are mixed. There are mixed reviews, top international reviews, didn't work for me, provided much relief, be careful of sizing, not wearable under over thick pants at the waist. Okay, so we might not be able to swipe <laughs> some of the reviews, but we can take the images. We can take the images, we can take the copy as well. We can take the copy straight to the point, it's not long. Because I have seen, I've been in situations where uh, a customer would see a product and is very curious and asks, what is it used for? That question is one thing that most sales copy like. They just put it, in, they just make a very vague description of what it's used for in a product description. But right there, as you can see, what is it used for? Actually, the title. So, this is really great. This is really great. So, all right, that is all for this. We have spied on our competitors on Facebook, we spied on our competitors on Shopify, and we are spying on merchant stores on Amazon because we want to swipe their review ratings and their review copies and uh, as well as the review pictures for later. Okay, all right, so well, let's go back to the main video. All right, step two on sales page are already working. So we are done with step two. So we'll go, we'll end this video here and we'll move over to step three. Creating a checklist of conversion elements that are present. And this is what the list is. So I'm, I'm just going to stop the video here and move on to step three. I don't want it to be too long so you don't, you know, hear me blabbing a lot. Okay, so move on to the next video. Bye.